In this problem, we need to resolve the given rational fraction into partial fraction. So let's begin. So we have the given expression. We have x squared plus 3x minus 3 divided by, you know, well, let's multiply x minus 1 with x plus 2. That will become evident in a moment while I'm doing this. So we have x squared plus x minus 2. Now, if we look at the degree of the numerator, that's exactly equals to the degree of the denominator. To check that, all we have to do is look at the power of x. So the highest power of x in the numerator is 2, and the highest power of x in the denominator is 2 as well. So that means they have the same degree. And whenever we have the same degree, then we will need to divide the numerator with the denominator so as to make the degree of the numerator less than the degree of the denominator. So let's do that. Now we can rewrite the numerator as we have x squared. Now we can break 3x into two parts. So 3x can be broken as x plus 2x. And then we have negative 3, which can be written as negative 2 minus 1, whole divided by x squared plus x minus 2. The reason why we have done this is so that we can rewrite the numerator part as x squared plus x minus 2 plus 2x minus 1, whole divided by x squared plus x minus 2. Now, we can separate this into two parts. So we have x squared plus x minus 2 divided by x squared plus x minus 2. That's simply 1 plus 2x minus 1 divided by x squared plus x minus 2. Now, we have a new rational fraction here. So this is added to 1. Now, in this new rational fraction, we can clearly see that the highest power of x is 1 in the numerator and the highest power of x in the denominator is 2. That means degree of the numerator is now lesser than the degree of the denominator. That means, uh, let's rewrite everything. So x squared plus 3x minus 3 whole divided by, so originally we had x minus 1 times x plus 2. So this can be also expressed as 1 plus 2x minus 1 divided by x squared plus x minus 2. We're going to label this as number 1. Now what we'll do? Uh, we will not worry about the first term here. So we will come to the second term and we'll resolve this second rational fraction into partial fractions. So let's begin. To do that, all we have to do is we are going to consider 2x minus 1 divided by uh, x minus 1 multiplied to x plus 2. This will be broken down into two partial fractions. We The first partial fraction will be a divided by x minus 1 followed by the second partial fraction which is b over x plus 2. The a and b here are constants. The A and B are constants. Now the choice, uh, the choice of A and B is totally independent, meaning you could, we could also have A over X plus 2 plus B over X minus 1. Now let's uh, label this as number 2. We, we're going to multiply both sides of equation number 2 with the denominator, which is X minus 1 times X plus 2. So that's going to give us 2X minus 1 equals to X plus 2 multiplied to A plus x minus 1 multiplied to b. Now we want to find out the value of a and b. So we're going to choose two values of x. But we're going to choose the value of x in such a way that the second term goes to 0. That was going to help us find out the value for a. So if we choose the second, if we want the second term to go to 0, so we'll assume that b cannot be 0. So the only way it could go to 0 is letting x minus 1 equals to 0 or x equals to 1. We'll substitute this into equation number 3. So equation number 3 will then become that we have 2 times 1 minus 1 equals to 1 plus 2 all multiplied to a. So we have 2 minus 1, so that's 1 equals to 3 times a, or a will be equals to 1 over 3. Next, we have to find out the value of b. For this, we are going to let x equals to negative 2. Because if we take x equals to negative 2, the first term will disappear and this will be uh, this will help us find out the value of b easily. So equation number 3 now becomes, we have 2 times x, so x is negative 2, minus 1 equals 2. The first term is gone. We are left with the second term, which is negative 2 minus 1 whole multiplied to b. So that means we have negative 4 minus 1, so that's negative 5 equals to negative 3b or b value will be equals to 5 over 3. So we have successfully obtained the value of a and b which we will replace in equation number 2 such that we get 2x minus 1 whole divided by x minus 1 multiplied to x plus 2 so that will be equals to in place of a we have 1 over 3 multiplied to x minus 1. 
plus b so b will be 5 divided by 3 times x plus 2 so we have successfully resolved 2x minus 1 over x minus 1 times x plus 2 into 2 partial fractions and finally we will replace this value back in equation number 1 such that we now get x squared plus 3x minus 3 all divided by x minus 1 multiplied to x plus 2 so this will be equals to 1 plus we have 1 over 3 times x minus 1 plus 5 over 3 times x plus 2 and this is a final answer.